What's what up, it do? OG? It's OG your man. Y'all already know what it OG. is. Y'all know we rocking with Corey today. So, without further ado, let's get to the video. Yo, man, did y'all hear that story about that lady who stabbed her boyfriend? Was it her husband? Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. She stabbed a man in the heart. What you talking about the lady on the floor? Got on the four five, yeah. You heard about that? I heard about it. I heard. Threw briefly. the little baby out. Right. The baby lived. One uh -huh. of them. The older one, one of the did. babies. The little baby it. died. That's oh. Come on, man. Hey. And then she ran into a tree and killed herself, I heard. Glad she gone. I say this about stuff like that, man. Yeah. Insane females have a real advantage over most because nobody expect them to do what they go do. Yeah, they get grace. They, they get what? They get grace. Women get because grace when they female. don't deserve it. Because we got to earn grace. What you saying? What you saying is deep. That's why it blew my mind when you said it. They get grace off GP, don't they? Oh, yeah. Well, a woman could a woman could ruin. Any woman could ruin any man's life for a period of time. Because no matter what she say, no matter how off kilter, how deep in it is, people going to give her the benefit of the doubt, because especially black men, because we view it as predators, and we always start in a hole, and we got to climb our way out. And you'd be damn near destroyed yeah. before people want to accept the truth. That's what happened to OJ. You're goddamn right. I mean, I know that about OJ. Nobody ever understood. I mean, I mean, like, the bitch was at his house with another dude. Worse than that. You wanna know? I found out some shit about the OJ case two days ago that I bet y'all don't even know. Give it to me. Do you know who Glenn Rogers is? He lived. <laughs> Glenn Rogers, better known as the cross country killer, was Nicole Brown Simpson's handyman. What do you mean? He was a fucking her handyman was a serial killer. He was convicted. He killed four blondes. He was convicted of killing four blondes. That was his thing. He was from Ohio. He was her handyman, which means he was at her house a couple times a week. Y'all look it up if you think I'm bullshitting. His name is Glenn Rogers, known as the Cross Country Killer or the Casanova Killer. He was convicted of killing four people and four women in 1995, and during the time of the murders and for years before that, he was her handyman. And they never knew. And anything. they never brought that shit up in the media. Well, they they painted her as a victim in the media. Like, they, she wasn't known as the bust down she was. She was a bust down for sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like her father was on there crying and stuff. He never said I lost control of her. And, cause if she was on, I mean like we know why she was with OJ. OJ had paper at the uh, time. You dig right. what I'm saying? No, I believe you, Craig. I believe you, I'm just saying. You know, OJ, OJ passed and you know what I'm saying? They. They made jokes about OJ, and I, I don't believe OJ was no saint at all, but the grace the woman received was unfair, if you ask me. Definitely. But that's, that's, that's pretty much in, excuse me, that's pretty much in all lanes. I watched it go down with my, my own parents, so. Get, what do you mean? Give an example, D. Well, because every time we'd call, if there was a big fight or argument, but it didn't last very long because he left, thank God, you know, by the time I was five, but. Anytime we would call to get help or report, they would always take her side. She was the instigator. She was the one that would do it. We, we watched it, so the lady always gets gets off. Actually, you know what? I think I've seen that picture before. His brother. Oh, that one. I've seen that His one. brother told the police, my wow. brother murdered Nicole Brown Simpson. He admitted to me he murdered her, and he actually admitted to murdering her. But the narrative was already spun, and they were making so many billions of dollars selling this false narrative about OJ at the time that they weren't interested in anything but OJ slander. Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Hold, wait, first of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. Then I watched some shit the other day, you gotta watch when you get to the crib, Corey. After he was found innocent, I don't know if y'all remember, OJ did a three hour documentary where he went over all the evidence in the case him himself and walked you through it where they found it in the crib you know what I mean yeah. and, and it was weird to see him in this state because as a 41 year old man now I now see oh 
all that nigga had mm. was really his reputation. So even though he knew he didn't do it, he was still trying to salvage his reputation because he was, I wouldn't say, I would say he was naive enough to think that people wanted the truth. They didn't mm. give a fuck about the truth. Mm-hmm. They just cared about the story. And this is weird how we thought a not guilty verdict as black people, we thought that was enough. We really should have, we really should have stood by that dude's side and really fought with him after that because they tried to, they tried to ruin his life. They tried to ruin his kids' lives. And it, it's just fucked up because I was under the assumption that he was guilty for years. You know what I'm saying? But when you really research the case, it's, it's fucked up. We watched the nigga get railroaded and he did, he really didn't do this shit. It's weird when we talk about cases and stuff like that because um, slanderers on the internet was saying, you know, Corey is trying to um, take up for something that R. Kelly did. Right. And it's very frustrating that slanderers get to say stuff like that. I had R. Kelly talking on the show because one day it's going to be more popular amongst our people. It's called a RICO law. When you live in the United States of America, you can be put in jail for nothing and they'll figure it out later on. Hmm. Just remember, Corey wasn't about no justifying fuck shit like the slanderers put out there. In the United States of America, you can be put in jail for nothing and they'll figure it out later on. That's real. It's called a RICO law. They will just grab you off the street and lock your ass the fuck up. Mm-hmm. That's what I was trying to bring people awareness. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's like, as we, as like, cause, and I, I thought of that when you was talking about OJ because people going to be saying, oh, Craig taking up for OJ and all that shit. They don't, the average mind doesn't care about what's wrong or right. They right. care about what's popular. Yeah. The average mind, they get locked in the shit. For me as a man, I'm about logic. And I'm about facts. So if I believe something to be true and the right logic and facts is prevented, I am going to change my opinion as long as the facts and the logic are credible. You know what I'm saying? For most mm-hmm. things. For most things. And in this situation, I'm one of the people who just assumed that he was guilty. But there's other things that happened as well that I had no idea about that they didn't, that they didn't talk about in the media. O.J., was on a plane to Chicago at the time at a time when Nicole was still alive and on a phone call with her mother but they sealed the phone records for 75 years so we can't so we can't see the actual phone records proven you know what I'm saying that he was on a flight to Chicago and she was on a phone call with her mother then the police were caught trying to change the time of the murder they tried to change the murder to 10:15 and the murder happened a lot later than that because they were trying to make the murder occur at a time when they knew OJ would be in town. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just a lot of shit. But the thing that strikes me the most is the serial killer thing. If a serial, if somebody was on this show working for you that was a serial killer and somebody came up dead, that would be the that would be the, the number one person of interest to me. The only thing that throws me off with all that though is that that he killed then it was a guy and her, because it was a, the guy was there too and got murdered. Okay, autopsy. I didn't know this part. They make it seem like when they were murdered that somebody just stabbed them up. No, it was like that wasn't how the murder took slaughter. place. They had torture cuts on their body, which means somebody cut them in places where they could bleed out and tortured them before they actually slit their throat. And a lot of people have the Colombian necktie. Uh, thing as well. I, I I don't know if that's true because I haven't seen the photos. But but if somebody is seasoned enough as a killer to cut you to where it could torture you, meaning if you move, you'll bleed out more. Both of them had torture cuts. Then on top of that, the restaurant that Goldman worked at, a few of his co-workers were murdered the same way before he got murdered. Hey yo, what the fuck? Mm. And it was a drug hangout for cartel members, like Colombian cartel members. So there's a lot of stuff that they didn't talk about in the case. And then, look, I know niggas that have beat up bitches, but to to murder the woman and the dude, the way that they were murdered. All of a sudden, years later, he wasn't wasn't even with her. Yeah, that Mm. wasn't no uh, Mm. domestic violence. You know, OJ, if he would have, he would have beat her to death. He knocked her out. She hit her head on something. The motherfucker who did this was, this is what they do for money. This ain't no 
You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's what they do for money. Then on top of that, she had a dog and Akita. Dogs are, uh, Akitas are very aggressive attack dogs. The dogs didn't bark. So that means the dogs were familiar with whoever committed the murder. If the if a fucking serial killer was her handyman, that means he was around the dog all the time. Oh, golly, Craig. You can mm. I mean, yo, like when you give this this information, Craig, nothing shocks me. I don't go off what television says. And especially older <laughs> stuff, because you know, back then too, now you can really unfind, you know, find out stuff, unearth some things that we wouldn't have back then, but now with internet and stuff, but yeah. it's easier to be a sleuth. You know Everything on the news is fuck shit. People look at these wars and all this shit. You're not getting the information you need. You're not getting the information you need about no war that's going on. You know, they shut your page down if you talk about the the war with um um over there where um mm -hmm. what is Them it? Folks. Israel. We don't want to say it in the Middle East. Yeah, in the Middle, in the Middle East. East. Yeah, they shut your page down. Because the information on that shit over there is basically bogus as fuck. Man. We know what they did. They're the invaders. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? The invaders. Do what they do, and they are consistent with doing what they do. But if you if you bring the facts out about the invaders, they shut down your page. You're goddamn right. They shut down everything. So we live in a world where information is not something you're going to get off of, especially CNN. You're going to get what they want you to have. You know what I'm saying? So... Craig coming with all these facts about this, it doesn't shock me. Mm -hmm. It doesn't shock me. They're not going to tell you what you need to know on the news. Hell no. Hell no! And not only that, nowadays people with money, so you don't even have to be a particular type of person. You can just have a little bit of power. Right, money. yeah. You that, know what I'm saying? And people be paying people off, finding stuff out. Oh, uh, yeah, it's crazy. Right? That shit fucked me up, Corey, when I started reading this. And I'm like, dog, this is very important information. This ain't like some shit you just leave out. Like, oh, we forgot to say this. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, this, these are things where if you don't know him, you're going to be under the assumption that he did this shit. Tell lie vision. That's what my man said up there. Tell lie vision. Oh. Tell lie vision. Mm -hmm. It's real, man. Ain't, mm -hmm. nobody, ain't nobody out here got no information for you that's 100. We'll have to read the super chats. The at Hollywood point, oof. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Tell lie vision. 100. Ain't nobody got no information that's going to help you. And anybody who comes with information that can help you, they take them off the internet. Yeah, mm. yeah that's why you got to respect dude, rest in peace, because, you know, now I understand better his, because OJ had a very condescending, arrogant attitude after the case, but I, I think it's a misinterpretation. I think he was just really disappointed that people would and believe anything. And it didn't anything. help with the Have you ever met OJ? I never I met have. him. Several times. I met him. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The media painted him as to be in Miami. I got a picture with him. I don't For know real, he was name. cool. Hell yeah, yeah, he was cool as hell. Mm -hmm. I said, man, what's up? Um, it's frozen. I said something about. I was like, can we take a picture, man? I want to take a picture with you. Uh, anyway, I mentioned the lady name. They got killed. He was like, <laughs> 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 hey, why, why would you do that? What do you mean? I, I, man, this is a uh, this is a deep topic right here. Where we start? Uh, <laughs> As far as with uh, OJ and that whole thing, man, Craig brought out a lot of stuff that I wasn't familiar with. Of course, those people can, you know, just come in and, and, and kidnap you anytime. You know, they kidnapped me back in 95 and I ain't see daylight until 2000. So, you know, I, I, I agree with him on that. All the, you know, evidence that they had against OJ and all the evidence that they didn't show or didn't come up in court could have been where it was proven that he didn't do this, you know, but just like they said, you know, the narrative, they already got their they, they information out there, you know, they don't want to be caught with their hand in the cookie jar or a line or whatnot, but you know, I mean, we know how these people is. It's crazy that this, this all coming out because how many of our brothers been convicted of something they didn't do. For example, you know, you got the movie Life. You know, if y'all ever seen uh, the Eddie Murphy, uh, uh, Martin Lawrence movie Life, you know, they was innocent. And the fact that the man said that he did it, you know, they didn't care. They they, they, they didn't care, man. They, they just want to throw somebody in jail for some stuff that they did. 
or just you know y'all know how it is you know what i'm saying i'm i'm, I'm kind of speechless on this one because this hit hard right here you know and then you got people that's rejoicing over this man's passing away or whatnot just like people was rejoicing over Kevin Samuels' uh, past, Vivica Fox. Uh, Y'all got to check out that video, too, I did on Vivica Fox. I did a lot of numbers on there. But, um, yeah, it's, this is crazy. You know how the media uh, lied to you. You know, I would never, ever go off of what the media say, what the news say, CNN, uh, local news, none of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's all ran by those people that they mentioned. You know, as far as over in the Middle East or whatnot, it's all ran by them. They own all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? They run the world. Um, but I'm not going to keep y'all here too long. Y'all like, share, subscribe to the channel. Come on, pressure, this your man's. Y'all already know what it is. To the next episode, up, OG, to the next video. OG, Ghetto triple, Talk. Triple. Peace. OG.